Okay everyone, I'm going to show today I'm going to show you how to do the heads and the faces and also I'm going to do another video that shows you how to put the dresses on our clothespin dolls. So this is just one of our examples. I did this one. Uh, she's kind of a little candy cane. Gave her a little candy cane to hold and I'll put um, a little loop on the top of her head and string a ribbon on it and I'll hang her on my Christmas tree but I want to show you on the bottom of her I actually put the tool the red tool under her dress to make it fluff out. It makes it really, really cute. So I'm going to show you how to do a face similar to hers. Move her over. And this is the example that we're going to use. And I'm actually going to do this one in brown this time. And I'm going to use a doll that we had messed up on. So we would messed up on the head on this. And you can see that it is partially brown and partially flesh tone. So whenever I mess up, I just go ahead and I just paint the face area. If I've messed up on the hair, I just paint the face area. And it doesn't matter if you leave part of the hair left there. But the type of brush I like to use is an angle brush. And you can see that it has that nice angle on it. And I like to put the long end down. And I put my little paints on a Ziploc bag here. It just keeps it from leaking through onto the table or anything else. So what I'm going to do is... I just decide kind of where I want my hair to be. And I find that I really like it to swoop over to be a side hairdo. So I come over on the side and I just come down. And I'm going to go back over that because it's usually pretty thin the first time over. So I've got my first swoop down. And then I'm going to come over to the other side. I'm going to switch hands here. And I'm going to use my long end down again, and I'm going to come to where the part is. I'm going to call it the part, and we're going to swoop down the other direction. So this just gives her a little bit of the top part of her hairdo. Then once I get the that area designated for what where I want the hair, I'm going to come down, and I'm going to go do the second level which is going to be the face down the ears into the face area. I just come in a little bit with that one and you know it doesn't have to be perfect on the first one because what you're going to do is you're going to come back in. I'm going to switch hands again. You're going to come back in and you'll fill in whatever you make it straight across at the bottom or put, give it whatever angle you want. Okay so that's in essence we've got our little hair there. And what I do after that is I'm just going to come and I'm going to fill in in the back. And then I, after I do this, I like to give my girls highlights just so you can kind of tell the texture, that there's texture in the hair. And when I come in and I'm doing the cleanup and painting into the back, then I start cleaning up the front. And I come up to where I want. You can see this side now is a little bit longer than the other side. So I'm going to come back over to the other side now. Swap hands again. And I'm just going to come down and then I'm going to come up and meet that. So now she has a nice even hairdo. And I'll continue to fill in so it looks nice and neat. And I use just brown acrylic paint. You can use whatever color. I've actually seen online people use pinks and bright greens and blues and yellows on their little girl's hair. And if you're doing a Christmas tree that has any of those colors in it, then it would look really pretty. So when I want to do the highlights, what I do is I just dip my the, end, the tip of that long end of the angle. I dip it in the white. And then I kind of pull out a couple of times and you can see that it puts a little smear on my plastic there and then I'm going to come I'm going to pull back this way one more time because I this is the angle the side I'm going to use and then I start where the part is going to be and that establishes a part and I'm just going to pull down and out just to kind of make it look like there's a little texture and I'm going to do that all the way down the part now it looks a little the white looks a little bright when you're doing this but don't worry about that and the reason is is because once you go in with your acrylic gloss and you spray their head with the acrylic, acrylic gloss, then it just makes it look like a really pretty shine um, on their hair. So 
and I just keep going down anywhere that I think that part's going to be. And then once I finish that, I'm going to come in to the front and pull in with a little bit of that white, just so she looks like she has real pretty bright highlights, nice shiny hair. And then I'm going to pull it down gently in the back, and I'm going to pull up to meet it here until she has a real pretty glossy hair. Now that looks pretty bright, and if you get too much white and you don't like it, go back in with the brown, just tap it a little bit, and then pull it back down into it. And that will clean up any of the, if it's too dark, too light for you. Okay, so I think I got a little bit too, too much white. You don't have to have a whole lot, and sometimes it's hard to regulate when you've got it on your brush, but, okay. So, I am now finished with this head. And what I'll do next is I'll let it dry. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and put eyes on it. So, what I'm going to do is I take a paintbrush that has a little bit of a thinner bottom. And I'm not going to use the brush part. I use the tip part. And I'm going to tap the tip down into the brown, just straight down. And then I'm going to go straight down on her head where I want her eyes. Then wipe that off before you do the next one. That way you get them both nice and even. Then I'm going to eyeball this, no pun intended, where I think this next eyeball should go. Hmm. And real often I, I mess up and I don't like what I've done with the eyeballs. I think that was pretty good. And then I'm just going to let that dry and once it dries I'll go in with the acrylic um, spray and I'm going to spray it. It'll make it nice and glossy, but the best thing about it is is that it actually protects it from water. So it'll help protect your little heads and, and keep them safe. Just a couple of things I want to point out. Um, there's a lot of different hairdos you can do. This little girl actually, I did this in a yellow. This may be hard to see on this, but she actually, I did curly hair on her. Let's see, this one has curly hair. You can see the little curly waves on her. Okay. And i am just noticed that the sides aren't even. And I'm going to go back in and come in just a little bit more on her side. And that's the good thing about this. If you don't like what you've done, you can go back in and touch it up. And I do it pretty often because I get really wacky about how I want it to look. So I'm just going to let that dry now, and we will, next we're going to work on putting clothing on them.